Hello everybody, so my friend just bought the uh, Honda HRV. This is the S Spec variant, which is basically the lower spec variant. And I just wanted to share with you uh, my thoughts because he actually lent me the car to, to drive for a week. So this is actually my day four. And I just want to share with you a couple of things regarding uh, the comfort levels as well as how the engine actually feels like to drive. I'm not going to go over all the numbers and all that, all the specifications, the safety features, because you can actually find that on multiple other videos that's already out on the internet. Uh, you can also go to Honda's website and check it out if you want to know all those very detailed numbers but today's video we're going to focus mainly on you know how it feels like the drive and as well as the comfort a couple of things that i like and a couple of things that i don't like because i've been driving i think almost about 300 kilometers now now before we begin the reason why he bought this particular model is because number one he was a bit tight on budget if he wanted to go for the higher end models it will cost a lot more and yes he doesn't really uh, care too much about the power so we'll talk more a bit about that in a bit uh, let's check out the car itself let's go Alright, so first things first, we're going to start off uh, with the uh, driver's area. Alright, so this is where I've spent most of my time. Alright, so I kind of like the, the interior. Honestly speaking, everything looks very nice. It doesn't seem like a, a major difference from what you get from the uh, higher-end models. You have uh, pretty nice materials over here. You have the same display. And of course, uh, we have uh, digital meters at the front here, which I think, again, is not a big deal. The start stop button is over here. I'm just going to push that for now. And there we go. It's a very smooth startup, and I absolutely love that about the uh, Honda HRV. What I love about this car is you have this uh, auto hold for the brake, so whenever you're in traffic, you don't really have to, you know, like keep pressing on the brake. I think that is awesome here. All right, so now that I've shut close the door. Honestly speaking, this is a very quiet cabin. I again, I absolutely love this about the Honda HRV. One thing I don't really like about this uh, monitor here actually is that number one, it looks a little bit outdated. It looks like a TV box sort of thing. Um, but the second thing here is that whenever you start the uh, the car, you actually have to keep pressing the OK button here to dismiss this caution kind of messaging. I think that's quite annoying because every time you start a car, you have to turn this off and then you get into your stuff. Oops, let me turn that off. Right. So just in terms of the buttons here uh, the good news is everything is actually physical buttons which is great when you are driving you increase and reduce the volumes over here and you just hit this power button to silent the entire thing I think that's great you also have your CarPlay and Android Auto although you have to use a cable down here which I have actually been using again it's a very simple solution and it works just right out of the box i love the fact that we have this cable because sometimes wireless ones uh, get a bit fidgety it doesn't really connect nicely to the system so i think the wired airplay here actually works really really nicely in terms of the seats uh, just in case you are wondering how the seats looks like <laughs> i've got my mask here right so this is how the seat looks like i think the pattern on it looks a little bit bland i mean the entire car looks very dark and you know blackish but i think it's actually quite all right as well not really a huge matter that the, the good thing is that the seats themselves are very comfortable so you know you don't really have any issues when sitting in the car here it just feels awesome baby girl love my bop and unlike me too no roof on my top and my babe see through hanging on the pen don't stop she ain't gonna feed you i've been all on my ground so why i need you all right, so in terms of the back, uh, I'm not really sure what you guys think about this door handle. I mean, it looks really typical for all HRVs, but <laughs> proper door handles will actually just work just fine. All right, so coming over to the uh, rear seats of the Honda HRV again, if you just look at the patterns of the seat, this I think it actually looks quite nice. The fabric itself is very smooth and nice to touch, so I think it's actually a very comfortable place to sit if you are on this side or that side. All right, so right now I'm going to show you guys how it looks like to get into the, the rear seats. So like I mentioned, the rear seat, the first seat here is actually very comfortable uh, I have a lot of headroom even though it has like a sloping kind of roof line I'm 175 cm and it still has has a bit like two kind of fist in terms of the headroom but look what happens when you move to the middle seat guys oh my god you are so much more elevated my head can't even fit here I don't think it's a problem in my head I think it's just the seat is crazy guys it's it's so small in the middle here you can't really put your feet out you just can't sit in the middle it just doesn't make sense but yeah I mean I don't know even if you put a kit here I think the kid will really be angry at you because this seat is just hard it's high and it's just so uncomfortable but yeah I mean you do get to push up the seats you know to review the space let me just show it to you pretty simple stuff actually just yank it up pull it up and push it down so oops come on there you go so basically you have this uh, you know additional space here but you sacrifice the person in the middle guys uh, let me know if you think this is better do you want more space in the back to put stuff 
or would you prefer a proper middle seat to put in one more person? Do you prefer your staff or your person, your friend? Right, let's go and check out other stuff. Alright guys, so the final thing we want to talk about here is actually in terms of the driving experience now. I'm trying to reduce the amount of actually driving and holding my phone and all that because I think it's a bit dangerous. I don't really have all the tools, you know, like those car reviewers, you know, to get the perfect scene. But let me just uh, summarize my driving experience to a couple of points. Now the first point, is there sufficient power? Well, honestly speaking, like you guys must already know, the engine here is actually the same as the uh, City Hatchback or the City if I'm not mistaken. So there's not a lot of power here. It's actually very, very good for driving in the city. I did not have any feeling of like the lack of power, but occasionally when you want to overtake people, uh, you might need to press on the pedal a little bit more and the engine might sound a little bit louder. So it's actually, I would say this, if you are familiar with driving a uh, Vios, a uh, City or anything in that kind of segment, you will really uh, understand how it feels like to drive the Honda HRV, the S Spec variant. Right, so like I mentioned just now, uh, the car really is perfect for city driving. I mean, it's a very comfortable drive. You do not have a lot of noise coming in from the side windows, and if you're just chilling around the city or maybe in like suburbs like where I am right now, as Subang as S15, this is a very chill drive. If you want to just press the pedal, you hear a bit of sound, you move a little bit. And yep, you're pretty much up there. Okay, that's yellow for the turning right. I'm gonna go straight. So let me build up a bit of a gap here. All right, currently going at 40 kmh. Let's see if I just start to accelerate now, full throttle. Whoa, you hear a lot of sound. <laughs> Got to make that signal to the right. So overtaking, uh, it's like that. I mean, again, this is not a sports car. Oh no, uh, the Hacia is accelerating at the same pace as me. <laughs> if you just, you know, just want to chill and drive around, you know, uh, this car is actually perfect. Let's see the cornering around here. Again, I'm not going at like super hyper speed, guys. <laughs> just following this little Vios in front of me. Come on, guy. You can go a bit faster. Come on. Come on. Oh, police. Ah, Saman. Nice lah. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can do here. It's getting a bit loud. I gotta chase the Asia. Come on, Asia. I mean, come on, HRV. Whoa, Asia is still in front. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. I mean, don't think that it's an underpowered car. It's quite all right. It's good enough for city driving. I'm not sure if you guys heard the sound of the engine just now. I hope you did. It's not super loud or anything. You can just hear the whine, but yeah, I think it's all right. I don't usually drive that way anyway. Okay, back at traffic. I'm gonna pause the video right now so I can enjoy this traffic jam. Okay, maybe I'll just uh, pull you guys in to enjoy the jam together with me. Again, very chill drive here. See, I'm tapping my foot here. I wanna go on this lane. Okay, let's check out the brake hole again. Oh, you have a V-spec over there. Nice. I'm aspect brother. Okay, we're at the lights. I'm gonna go to this lane over here, signal. Go over here and... Okay, check out the brakes guys, check out the brakes. Hitting the brakes, look at the light, look at the light. And there we go. Oh, before I forget, there's one more thing that I want to mention here about uh, something that I don't really like and it's the, the glass here in front of the speedometer is so reflective. I mean, take a look at this. This is my exact viewing angle. And I mean, you see a lot of reflections over here, guys. I mean, if you're sitting so high up looking down, then that wouldn't be a problem. But we are usually at eye level and whew, look at all those shadows at the front. I mean, Honda, come on, you guys can do better than that, right? So reflective, oh my God. All right, guys, so that's pretty much uh, my three-day experience with the Honda HRV. Again, this is the base spec variant, the S spec version. And honestly speaking, to just really sum up my experience over the past few days, I'm actually very impressed with the, uh, the lowest variant. I mean, I did test drive the high spec version, which comes with the uh, 1.5 liter turbo, and that was really fast. Like, I mean, it was so fast. But for this particular model, I think it's just, it's, it's all right. In terms of power, don't really expect like a lot of power, but also don't expect it to be like super powerless. Again, I think my main 
point here is like if you are driving, if you have driven cars like the Vios, the City, and you want to upgrade to a car with a larger size, um, this car is actually very, very similar to that kind of experience. But you do get those huge size. I think for the price of one one five k in Malaysia, I'm sure you have like a ton of other options. But yeah, I really hope this video helped you out a little bit. Again, this is not like a full review. I'm just uh, doing this only like one or two times here for car reviews. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like, sub to the channel. If you want to ask more questions again, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll help you guys to check it out and test it out. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.